Y'all. What? What is going on, y'all? What is going on? Y'all in this chat, we talking about Nene Leaks. <sighs> Chime down if y'all can hear me in the chatterization. Chime in, let me see. Can y'all hear me? If not, I'll do this. What's, what's going on, y'all? What's going on? What's going on, my people, my people, my people? I miss y'all. Y'all can hear me? Can you see me? I'm in this hotel in Switzerland. So honestly, I really wasn't going to even address this topic, but I just want to let a couple of y'all get up in here for a minute. All right. Just come on in the room. Just before we get into the Nini and the Porsche of it all, I am in Switzerland. I am safe. Um, I am actually getting ready for bed because I think it's like after 12 here. So I'm just kind of doing my little facial routine before I go to bed um, using my little serumizer from MAC. And this ain't no plug or nothing like that. Um, and then my little skin cam is bomb afterwards. So anyway, I was determined not to work while I was on vacation. But for some reason, this story resonated with me, okay? It, it resonated with me. Now, for those of you guys who are, what time is it where you are? Just let me know in the chat. What time is it where you are um, and where you are? Um, I'm in Switzerland. It is, what, like after midnight, and it is also spring-ish weather here. Um, I'm not in the mountains anymore. I'm not in the Alps anymore, so I am... Um, just trying to okay all right i see st louis houston la dmv bama baby hey y'all hey memphis hey charlotte um y'all know y'all y'all be knowing how to do this skincare stuff i just be slapping this stuff on my face i see florida what's going on houston hey it's good to see y'all i miss y'all I do miss y'all. Whether y'all know it or not, I miss y'all. I'm just giving y'all the real right now. And we're going to talk about this Nene and Porsche situation. Because, and the reason I'm talking about this Nene and Porsche situation, because for those of you guys who have been OG, OG, OG Sky Squad members, y'all know when this channel first started with Housewives and Reality TV Talk, we was talking Porsche and Nene. And I think it was Porsche who had released Nene's text messages or one of the vice versa. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember that? You said upward, upward, upward strokes out there. Is, is this right? <clears throat> Am I doing it right? Just the moisturizer, right? I'm trying to put this, I'm trying to keep the skin looking somewhat good. And the lighting, I'm sorry, y'all, it's kind of bad. So just work with me, okay? Okay, South Africa, 1.45 a.m. Yes. All right, so let's talk about this. Oh, thank you for the super chat, whoever sent it. I can't see it because I'm using this Prism app. But listen, all right, so y'all know I've been on vacation. I'm actually on vacation for another week. So it's debatable about how much content I'll be able to like put out. And I really wasn't even trying to, because I was like, y'all know I've been working hard over these past couple of months and years. And so I needed a break. And Switzerland was calling my name. So let's talk about Nini and Portia. All right, so I had just happened to see this because somebody tagged me on it just now. I, I had just made a post on my Instagram about pivoting, right? So for many of you, you guys know that I have a personal channel. And on that personal channel, I talk about, you know, lifestyle, travel, motivation, blah, blah, blah. blah. Anyway, and I happened to see this. So I was like, okay, Nini is basically telling the story about how she got called to do the Upshaws, which is a Netflix show, right? Kim Fields is on the show and I guess she was maybe gonna be directing the episode, right? So she, along with Portia, were gonna be doing the episode together. So Nini apparently does the episode, well, she gets there, she flies out, they negotiate, they do their thing, right? So what she does is she says, well, 
she was excited to see Portia because she had not seen her. So she was excited for them to work together. Now, apparently she showed up in silver or something like that. And Portia was also supposed to be wearing something similar. So, you know, she changed clothes. No big deal. So I guess she shoots the episode or whatever, but does not run into Portia or whatever the case may be. She is asked, I'm assuming, don't know, I'm kind of paraphrasing, but she's asked by production if she has any problems with any housewives. And, you know, of course, she says no, because she's talked to Portia. She's hung out with Portia, her and Simon and, um, you know, uh, Naomi and her have all been on double dates and she's cool with Cynthia. She apparently just talked to Kim Zosiak. She's had no problems with any of these other ladies. So it ends up, I guess, that Cynthia Bailey ends up taking Portia's role or spot or whatever the case may be. I don't really know. What I do know is that she is blasting Portia in this video clip. I'm not going to play it for you because it's on the shade room. And sometimes what will happen is, you know, people will put like the post that they make the video. They will put it on their own YouTube page. And then I don't really want to get striked. So I'm giving you the rundown, right? Okay, so Nene is like calling Portia out for basically like, I guess, not doing the job and allegedly telling the production crew or whomever in charge that she had an issue with, with Nene or she's had a past issue with Nene. And so Nene's like, well, what kind of issue did you have? Like, we just had spoken and I had just seen you and, and apparently, you know, the, the, uh, let me get to it. But basically... She texts Portia, I guess. And so she was asking Portia, like, yo, what's up? Like, why you, what, what happened or whatever? Because I guess Nene's standpoint is that if Portia is saying to production that she has a problem with Nene, then that is going to make Nene seem difficult. So at that point, Nene is texting her, like, what's up, girl? And, you know, Portia allegedly tells her that, oh, well, you're supposed to be my big sis, but you didn't check in on me while I'm going through this divorce. Now, Nene's like, girl, I just saw you, you was just in Dubai with your man. So I thought that y'all was just maybe having a fight because as you guys know, Nene Leakes is usually a little vocal with how she, you know, be upset or mad with Naomi. And you, you'll see a post talking about how, you know, somebody's a narcissist and whatnot. And the next thing you know, they're together, okay? Which another thing is, I don't understand why these grown folks are, you know, be so heavily involved in social media and run into social media with their relationship issues. Keep that stuff to yourself or talk to your therapist. OK, that's my standpoint on it, because we are too grown to be act to be running to social media, talking about our woes with the people that we are dating. Unless you were unless you are eliciting attention or you trying to seek attention. That to me is the only reason why anybody would be doing that. OK. Um, so she side eye and Portia because she's like, and rent, and, and, and this is the part I understand. If you're saying to Portia that like, girl, I didn't know what y'all was doing. I thought y'all was just in a fight. Yeah. You would think that y'all were just in a fight because when you fight, it'd be on Instagram too. So anyway, I can't fault her for that because who knows what's really going on with Portia and Simon. Cause we all, I think on the fence about like what's real and what not real. Right. And true enough, they was just frolicking around about three weeks before. Next thing you know, they're getting a divorce and she's, she's, I'm Portia Gwabadia. I'm going back to the Real Housewives. Portia Williams ain't. Well, I guess that ain't the case no more, but I guess Portia Williams going back to Real Housewives and not Portia Gwabadia. Who knows? It's confusing. Okay. That's, it's confusing as it's confusing AF. So with that being said, and I'm just going, I, I, I ain't cutting no corners today. I'm just giving y'all the real about how I feel about it. Okay. Um, what I know to be true in Hollywood is this. All right. I personally, if the reason why Nene is on this hair uh, on Beyonce's uh, country Western Internet talking about Portia not showing up for a job that Nene actually did and probably was paid well for. I mean, I don't understand what the problem is for me. It's like they clearly wanted to work with you, Nene. If Portia is the person with a problem, she is the person who did not show up and who did not get paid. You did. So what is your problem? Go to her. Why are you coming to us? I, we, I mean, like at the end of the day, I mean, you, 
what's tea? Like, y'all can handle that yourselves. Like, sometimes I feel like adults got to just be adults and handle things with adults and like adults. Running to the internet with your problems is honestly not the way to go. Unless you are using it, I think, as a way for other people to understand and motivate other people. But as a grown person, I really don't get it. Now, Nene has every right to do what she want to do. She can run to the internet if she wants to. She is grown. But in my mind, grown people, we don't really need to do that. Do we? Do we? Renee, yes, I'm making a video about it because I really wanted to talk about it because I, it's it's an, it's annoying to me, but it's not annoying to me for the reason that you think. OK, Renee, thank you. I'm making a video and you watching it. How about that? So anyway, like I was saying, um, my thought is this. The reason I'm actually getting on this live and making this video is really to talk to y'all about opportunities in Hollywood because there's a deeper meaning that I wanted to go through here. Okay, Renee. So, Renee, what I really want to talk about is this. Nini has gotten on the internet to complain about Portia not taking a job that she, Nini herself, actually took, and I'm sure they paid her for it. Nini, in my opinion, should not even be concerned about whatever is going on with Portia. Number one, because what's for you is for you. That, Renee, is why I'm on this good internet on vacation, Renee, to let y'all know that at the end of the day, the bigger message is, Nini, you did the job. You got paid. I'm sure you did it well. Who cares about the behind the scenes shenanigans that Portia may be causing? Because it didn't stop you from doing the work and getting paid. You will be known by your works. Not necessarily, because guess what? Your works will always speak louder than the people who are talking negative about you, Renee. So I want you to go when you, Renee, next time you think about a situation like this where somebody is coming on the internet and talking, and if there is a message involved, Renee, I suspect that you should be Renee listening to it. OK, that's my message for y'all. That's why I wanted to get on this Internet. Do not let nobody block your blessings because they got an issue. Portia's issue with Nene is not is none of Nene's business, Renee. OK, that's why I'm upset about it, because Nene, to me, has an opportunity to rebuild and Portia ain't got nothing to do with that Renee. Okay. So that's my message. That's why I'm up here in the middle of the night, putting my moisturizer on talking to y'all. Not because I just want to talk about Nene is because I want to leave you with this message. Okay. Renee, I want you to know that when you, when God got something for you, it don't matter what nobody else is out there saying or doing about you, because guess what? At the end of the day, that met that thing is going to still be for you. So uh, why Nene is up on this Internet mad and upset about some crazy net cockamamie stuff that Portia got going on? It ain't really none of her business, ain't really none of our business, because guess what? At the end of the day, whether Portia like you or not today or tomorrow or yesterday, Nene, you still got paid. No. Because you did. Because you did. And for Portia, girl, don't nobody understand what you and Simon doing. Don't nobody understand it. It ain't for me to. And, it, it, and honestly, quite frankly, it ain't it, honestly at the point that I'm at on this good vacation here in the good Switzerland. It ain't really none of our business what y'all doing, how y'all want to manage y'all finances. I don't even care no more. OK, because last week y'all was in Dubai and now y'all saying goodbye. OK. Renee. So, um. Let's deal with the Porsche of it all, too. OK, Porsche. If you want if you want to block your blessings because you got some perception of Nene, of her not understanding what you got going on in your relationship, when 90 percent of us don't understand what's going on with your relationship, 90 percent of us didn't understand what was going on with your relationship when you announced it with Dennis in the photo with you. So why are you mad? Why are you you upset because she ain't what reach out to you? Who does that? 
Who, what, 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 what was she supposed to say? Hey, girl, I'm so sorry. I saw y'all last week in Dubai. I knew y'all was. Or is it that you upset that Naomi and Simon are still friends? Was he not supposed to stop? Was he supposed to stop being friends with the man? I mean, like at the end of the day, does not even does not only even know who Simon really is. I don't know. Do we? Who knows? Simon looks like he's out here living his best life. So now you mad at you you mad at a friend and you missing out on opportunities because you in your feelings. Okay, cool. Do you? But my thought is this. Perception is a very interesting thing versus missing out on a job. You could have just called Nene and been like, girl, I ain't heard from you. What's up? Because that's what real friends do. Real friends pick up the telephone. Real friends pick up, pick up, text each other. Real friends talk. Real friends don't take again. This is my opinion. And I know this is what makes the Internet go round these days. But real friends pick up the phone, call each other and ask, what's up? What's up? What's up? So I'm um, I'm 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 happy that Nene had the wherewithal to do that. But then to bring it to the Internet, I just I, I just kind of really don't get it because now an issue that we didn't even need to know about is is now a, is now is a, is a bigger issue. Now it's a bigger issue. So. Renee, I wanted to talk to y'all about this. Two things. One, don't block your blessings, okay, um, based on a perception of what you think somebody should or shouldn't be doing, especially if you ain't got the wherewithal to pick up the phone and ask if there's an issue. Because now Portia looks like the difficult person, not Nene. Two, Nene. What Portia does, what she eats, what she what she drinks, don't make you poop. Period. You got paid, whether she liked you or not. She try even if she did allegedly tell somebody that she you and her had issues, they still work with you. They still you still got paid. Okay. And what people need to realize, Renee, is that can't nobody stop the blessing that God has for you. It don't matter what people say or what people do. And that's Renee, the message for today. Okay, Renee. And actually, Renee, you know what I just kind of realized? I've been listening to God a whole lot lately. And Renee, I think I just realized that this message was for you. Now, what I want you to do, Renee, is I want you to go forth tonight. OK, Renee, I want you to log off the Internet, Renee, when you get done listening to this sermon and my TED talk, Renee. And I want you to go and book a, the, 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 the best vacation that you possibly can, because I think you might need a break, too. Now, with that being said, y'all know that I love y'all. I done interrupted my vacation to hopefully give you just a nice little word on tonight. Okay. And Renee, you already know I love you. <laughs> and Renee, if you have been a part of this channel, you know. You know my heart is in the right place. Okay, Renee. <laughs> I love y'all. I have missed y'all so much. And I really just it this this actually just struck a nerve with me. So I wanted to talk to y'all about it um, because, again, I've been listening. I've been trying to listen to God on this vacation. And one of the things that I posted on Instagram is 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 just this, you know, I mean, the, the word was on my heart. So I had to deliver it today. All right. OK, Renee. All right. All right, Renee. Um, and to the rest of y'all, Sky Squad, I love y'all. I miss y'all. If something else pops up that I feel real passionate about, I'll jump on here and we'll we'll chit chat about it or whatnot. And Renee, I love you too, boo. I love you too. You know it's all love over here. Um, and with that being said, um, we're traveling to a different location tomorrow, so I need to go on ahead and go to bed. But I love y'all. Stay, stay up. Nene, keep working. 
Portia, go heal, and I think everybody be all right, okay? All right. Once again, I love y'all. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. Like this video if you like reality TV related content. And again, I will be posting the, um, I'll be posting about the trip on my personal channel as well. So with that being said, I, I, I there was no way I could do this vacation and not talk to y'all. Y'all know that. Y'all uh, know that. Renee, you know that. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm going to bed and I will catch y'all in the next video.